What's up, Divine Feminine, my beautiful nieces? Divine Masculine, if you up in here, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Karmic Circus where we expose all of these karmic -y ass clowns. Divine Feminine, I sat here at my desk and I picked up this deck of cards right here. And I started shuffling them bad boys and was asking what was the energy surrounding the Divine Feminine. And these, the first three cards that flipped out on me made me go make me some cappuccino, baby. The first card that came out was a group of individuals. Then, oral sex. Then, the warlock came out. So some of you Divine Feminines, you may be dealing with the warlock and you may be unaware of this. Okay? You may not know that you're dealing with the male witch. He could be doing all sorts of things. And if this is somebody, this masculine, he's into orgies. So, Let's first see the energy surrounding this warlock when it comes to divine feminine. Now, this reading is not going to resonate with everybody. Some of you, this person could be in a prison, in a mental prison. This is the jail. Eight of Swords. What does your intuition tell you when I say a group of individuals, oral sex, a warlock, and the Eight of Swords? And the Eight of Swords is, is about being restrained, paralyzed, feeling in prison. So some of you, your person may be in jail. And right about now, they may be in there sucking dick or getting their dick sucked in jail. A group of some sort of orgy shit. Yeah, restrictions out here for somebody. This is somebody in jail. Somebody in prison. It's a warlock. And either he's getting his dick sucked or he's sucking somebody's dick. I got to show you the cards. I got to. So I don't know if this is the energy of somebody's masculine out there. This could be your ex. That could be a warlock. Whoever this person was, if they was in jail, maybe they out. This could have happened if they was in jail. You know, this could be something you're unaware of, that they had some sort of sexual frenzy up in prison. Then, then the, the Ten of Wands out here, that's all about being burdened, stressed, burnt out obligated he may be he may be oh damn somebody is getting getting um gang raped and they're they're obligated to this. It's something they they did or they gotta do. 
I feel like this is karma for somebody. Somebody is getting gang raped in prison. Yeah. Now they stressed out. Burnt out. Mm. See, for some of you, the reading that I just uploaded, I haven't even uploaded it yet. But it, it was talking about a, a divine feminine is unhappy because a masculine has a lot of options out there that he's dealing with. And these same cards that just fell out was in that last reading. The sun in reverse, ten of swords, the hermit, and the tower in reverse. This was in the same reading. And you've seen me sit here, pick this deck up, and here's a new beginning right here. The fool. So for some of you, this could be the warlock that was leaving you home, had all these other options and chose these options, and he was penny-pinching you, um, breadcrumbing you because he had all these options. His ass may have ended up in jail. This could be karma for him. The karma is he he's in there. He's either having to suck some dick or he's either having to give up his ass. One of the two. And this is a warlock. He's having a tower moment. The tower is a prison. The tower is an explosion. The tower is a sudden death, the ending. Chaos, conflict. It can mean a loss of a job. It could be a a uh Loss of a loved one. It could be a financial failure. Something that shakes you to the core. But I don't know who warlock this is or whoever your person is. Now, like I said, this ain't going to resonate with everybody. Now, if it does resonate with you, this could have happened. Your person could, could have been in jail and they got out. Um, for some of you... Your person currently in jail, they could either be currently getting raped, gang raped up in there, or somebody is making them suck on their dick. And that's not for everybody that man is in prison. I don't know. Ask them. Don't tell them who said it. Don't, don't shoot the messenger. But yeah, whoever this person is, you probably wouldn't ask anyway, because from what I'm looking at, he's a warlock. And he was ghosting you. Oh, and also in the in the last reading, he was he was doing something illegal. So yeah, he didn't went to jail. Mm hmm. For all the dark shit he did to you. Mm. You could be having a new beginning. So tell me more about this warlock when it comes to divine feminine. See. Magic. The magician in reverse. That's why his ass is, in, is is going through this. This this is again, this may be this puffy puffy shit. Cause his his shit came up in one of my readings the other day. And then they they talking about him doing cult shit. You know, that's doing spell work and manipulation and the worst. So this Ten of Swords could be this person. They could be in jail. That Eight of Swords came out and now they defeated. And this is happening because they was doing some sort of spell work. And they was ghosting you doing spell work. That's why they was ghosting you. Or they was trying to, they blocked their communication from you. Or they was trying to keep you from having all the tools and resources that you need to move forward. Yeah.
I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up button. That's your way to energetically donate to my channel. Tell me more about this warlike energy when it comes to divine feminine. For some of you, this is your husband. Some of you, if you weren't married to him, you was in a long-term relationship with this person. And they was ghosting you. Spell books. That's that's clarification for the for the magic. That's clarification that this is a warlock. And see, some of you, um, like I said, you may not even know that this person is into to dark spells and you know manipulation magic. It could be moon magic. They doing sex magic, masturbation out here, oral sex. Um, if this person is in jail, he could be having to jack somebody off and suck their dick while they in jail. Yeah, but this is what the fuck they get because they was trying to do some spell work on you. Some sort of some kind of magic they was doing. This the magician. And here in reverse, this is a jackass with a human face. Tell me more about this warlock when it comes to divine feminine. And if he's not in literal prison, he could be in spiritual prison. Yep, he's sitting in the pitch black. He's sitting in darkness because he tried to send some shit to you. And it's going in reverse. Now he's having tower moments. He could be going through arguments and shit. Some sort of sudden change. He could have lost a family member or someone who he loved dearly by doing this magic. It's a painful ending for this motherfucker. Yeah, now he's watching you. You could have been married to this person and, and they was cheating and you was watching the ass. Pulling up for sex. And asking for money. Damn. See, if, if whoever he was ghosting you for, he's other other people that he's out here dealing with. He's ghosting you and pulling up to for sex for, to somebody else. He's going to get it from somebody else. He could be pulling up to this group of individuals. They may be all fucking each other. Mm. A movie. Something about a movie can be significant. The movie Pitch Black. Then they have... Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio in it. I think it was a scary movie. So with this sun out here in reverse, this could be you again, divine feminine or divine masculine, but this is divine feminine because the warlock is a male. This could make you unhappy. This this warlock could have taken away your 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 sunshine, your radiance. There could have been a painful ending between you and them. He was ghosting you. There could have been a lot of arguments and fights behind you. But this is a warlock, and he has a dark spirit. He's a demon. Okay. He's play he plays with spell books. He's he's doing sex magic. He could be you know, masturbating and, and saying your name and looking at your pictures if he got a picture of you or imagining you in his mind. He could be trying to imagine you giving him oral sex. Um, with the asking for money out here, he may be trying to manifest you through, through oral sex, through um, masturbation. So you will come asking him for money and then I guess you'll end up having sex with this person or this is what he's trying to manifest. 
but the spell work, if he's doing this to, you know, if he's trying to do this to get you to come towards him, it ain't going to work. It's in reverse. Mm -mm. And see, whoever this is, this is somebody, you know, when, when you have sex with them, they they want to want to they they want to close up your your uh third eye and your crown shot they don't want you to use your intuition if this person you have sex with them and if they good at what they do when it comes to sex they could have your mind all fucked up to where you ain't thinking about what god the most high wants you to be doing rather it's playing an instrument you're supposed to be playing in a church somewhere um painting you know, your art may be healing. People may want to buy your art or something. Um, you may be a musician, you know, and you have a gift. And this person is trying to distract you. They were sent into your life to distract you. Yeah, the devil sent them. But now that devil, that same devil got them sitting in the pitch black. Now they watching some of you. They, they may be watching you to see if somebody is pulling up for sex with you. Yeah. This with this person, all they thinking about is sex with the Ace of Wands. They trying to do some sort of sex magic and they, um, somebody could be telling them that, that you're cheating on them and they could be watching you. They could be watching to see if somebody is pulling up for sex with you. They let the devil fool them. Yeah, secretly, this person is, they have a nightmare as they losing sleep. Because for one, they've been sleeping around with a bunch of, a group of individuals. And they're doing spell work. So this is why they're in pitch black. They're in total darkness right now. And the darkness that they're in, they're, they're having nightmares in the darkness. They're literally feeling like they're in the dark. And when they go to sleep, they're having some sort of nightmares. About them being out in the woods somewhere in the dark by themselves. With something, you know them videos, something is in the woods type of shit. Yeah. Aries energy, the emperor. Someone well organized, the protector. It's feeling stuck right now. Trying to be perfect. But going through a tower moment at the same time because they was trying to do the spell work. And this is somebody's karmic ex or your karmic partner. Yeah, you're healing. And now this person is stuck. They got some sort of, you know, difficult situation that they stuck in. I don't know if it's a difficult dis, dis, um, situation between you and somebody else, but they feeling stuck. Their judgment is clouded. They're overwhelmed by the choices that they made. Now they're gonna they're gonna want to negotiate with you. They want to negotiate, and they may you know at one time this person could have been. You know, unrealistic. Uh, they have an over, over magic, over magic, over imagine, <laughs> overactive imagination. I don't know why every time I get ready to say that, it, I get mixed up. But they have an overactive imagination, and now they they want to, you know, come negotiate with you. This person, they may come in a charming, graceful mood. Um, they may be charming and graceful in the Knight of Cups, very loving and warming, but they're a warlock. Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I see Virgo out here. I see Libra out here. I see uh, Virgo twice, Scorpio twice. I see the sun out here. Yeah. Tell me more about this warlock. He recklessly spends his money. He penny pinch with you, but he recklessly spends his money. 
If he ghosting you and you don't know where he's at, but he's coming back broke, but he recklessly spending money. If you're not letting him manipulate you out of your money, that's part of his darkness that he's sitting in because he possibly broke right about now. Yeah, because he was trying to take some sort of shortcuts. Mm -hmm. Overcommitted. Disorganized. Having limited success. Mm -hmm. And this person is going to try to keep you from walking away because they don't want you to start a new relationship. Yeah, this is a, a masculine. That's he's a he's in reverse. This is a karmic. He getting he getting karma right now because of the 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 magic that he tried to do, the manipulation that he tried to do. He wasn't loving or caring. He wasn't compassionate. He was selfish and greedy. Yeah, recklessly spent his money on himself. There was a lot of arguments. He was always leaving you hanging. The relationship between you and him was no two of cups. That shit was like he liked to party too much. He wasn't putting in, in the relationship like you was, and he didn't want to change. This is somebody who wanted wanted a, a relationship. You know, it ain't even a real relationship, just like he can get what he can get out of it, like friends with benefits or, you know, hit it and quit and no strings attached type of energy. And all the time you've been around this person, you've been trying to remain calm and manage your emotions. Because you you knew this person was out here being sneaky and deceptive. But now I feel like you're not obligated to this person no more. You're no longer letting them burn you out no more. Because they broke your heart. And it was, you know, they try to use somebody else to intimidate you or stress you out. And, you know, at one point in time, see, I feel like you, with the Nine of Cups and the lovers out here, this person, when, when you and them had sex, they they gave you a feeling that nobody else gave you. It's like, um, I got to say it, some of you ladies out there, you may have a toy or something, or a man can't, you know, make you have an orgasm. So this person, maybe he can do that, and maybe that's why you, you dealt with a lot of the bullshit. Because he's probably the only man who has ever given you an orgasm. You know, um, he burnt you out. He was, it was, it was, it, it was like, y'all did it so much, you was tired, but this was your wish come true. But at the same time, this person was greedy, they were stingy, they'd give you sex, you know, but they was greedy. Now this person they having some sort of regret regrets. Somebody watches Daffy Duck almost said regrets. That's all folks. Yeah, you set some boundaries with this person. You left them. Some of you, this is somebody you, you recently broke up with, or you haven't recently broke up with them, but you've started a new re relationship or a new marriage, a new engagement recently. Yeah. I see you fixing yourself up, working on yourself, loving on yourself. You couldn't you couldn't satisfy this person. Yeah. No matter what you tried to do, it it it, it didn't, you know, it didn't help. You didn't have all the answers to what this person was doing. They was constantly moving around quickly. They if you ask them questions they would cuss you out they was always bitchy and moody they were cold hearted yeah the karma for them is seeing you with the new thirst for out for a thirst for knowledge somebody may be a nurse um them seeing you moving forward letting your intuition guide you um getting unstuck from them and now you're in a relationship with somebody who equally gives and takes just as you do. It's equal. But when you was with this person, whoever they are, you know, they didn't give you a sense of renewed hope or faith. Um, they probably wasn't spiritual. They didn't, they have, they were still sleep. And while they still sleep, you progressing, you're moving forward. You ended it with this person and they didn't want it to break up. Okay, and you, it's some of you, you quickly got out, after you got into this relationship, you quickly moved on to your kink to to your divine masculine. Somebody, somebody, you know, 
Maybe you've been talking to this person why this asshole was out here being an asshole and you could have met somebody new or something. And that's your happily ever after. Yeah. This person sees you as the queen of wands. Somebody very hot and sexy. And they feel like it's the perfect opportunity for them to be with you. Somebody is not standing up or defending themselves when it comes to something about some family or money. Maybe you didn't stand up to this person because they was, you know, taking care of you, paying your bills or paying your rent or something. This is why it's important to have your own shit. And I don't mean to seem mean. I mean, have your own shit, ladies. Because when you with a man and you could have your own shit and they'll manipulate you and tell you, oh, you can quit that job. You ain't even really making that much. And, and I make this much in, 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 in a day and you make that in two weeks and you know this and that and that and this. And then you end up letting your legal job go because of some quick fly-by-night money they got. And then the police get after them. You done worked hard to get where you was, wherever you at. You're used to a certain lifestyle. You can take your money, pay your bills, get your hair done, pay your rent, and all of that shit. But then when you get with this person and you quit that job, they're going to want to control you. They're going to want to control your money. Every time you want something done, yeah, they, they love when you go get, when you met them and you got the nails done. They wasn't having to pay for them. You was paying for them. But they'll fool you and tell you you can quit your job and I'm going to take care of you and then you quit your job. Then you be walking around with bald head nails, nails falling off because they ain't helping you. They ain't doing nothing they said they was going to do. Nothing they said when you said you could do it yourself and you trusted them. High priest is in reverse. You started, you stop, you stop. Loving this person, caring about this person, you stop giving to this person, you stop showing any concern, compassion, you just don't give a fuck. And you being publicly publicly recognized for whatever it is that you do. You done met some new part, some new friends you partying and celebrating on this spiritual journey. You may have met some new people on this spiritual journey. Yeah, you 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 have the, the uh King of Swords out here, the intellectual power. Mental clarity. Yeah. You have some friends around you. And this whoever this person is, he wasn't showing no love. He was like very um, emotionally withdrawn. You didn't never know what's going on with him. Yeah. Devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. You detach from this individual. Yeah. He was... He was He's a player, and he was taking his money, spending it on somebody else. So now, either you got somebody treating you the way you deserve to be treated, Divine Feminine, or you're treating yourself the way you deserve to be treated. So, if this reading resonated with you, or I gave you any clarification in your situation, go ahead, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell and the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out.